Let's take a deep breath. Ever wondered what you're really inhaling? The air around us is a cosmic miracle, Earth's atmosphere, and honestly, its story is way wilder than you think. Let's rewind about 4.6 billion years. Earth was just a newborn rock, hot and angry with zero air. The first atmosphere was mostly hydrogen and helium, light gases that just drifted off into space. So how did we end up with the air we breathe today? Here's where it gets wild. Volcanoes started erupting like crazy, spewing out steam, carbon dioxide, ammonia. Imagine the sky, thick, toxic, and totally unbreathable. But fun fact, those volcanic burps were the first step toward life as we know it. Earth's early oceans actually formed from all that volcanic steam. As the planet cooled, the steam condensed into rain, pouring for thousands of years. That endless rain filled up the oceans, trapping a lot of the carbon dioxide. So oceans didn't just appear, they were literally cooked up by the planet itself. But wait, the air was still toxic. Enter the real MVPs, cyanobacteria, tiny, ancient microbes living in the ocean. They started photosynthesizing, using sunlight to turn CO2 into oxygen. For millions of years, oxygen just got sucked up by rocks and ocean chemistry. But eventually, it started to build up in the air. This is called the Great Oxygenation Event, and it was a total game changer. That oxygen boom actually wiped out most early life. Oxygen was toxic to them, but for others it was the start of something new. Complex life, animals, and eventually, us. And get this, the atmosphere is still changing. Every breath you take is part of an ongoing experiment. The balance of gases, nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, is always shifting, shaped by volcanoes, life, and even us. So next time you look up at the sky, remember, it's not just empty space, it's the result of billions of years of wild cosmic chemistry, a living breathing shield that makes Earth home. And honestly, that's pretty mind-blowing.